Building a career in the entertainment industry takes years of hard work, and unfortunately, all it takes is one mistake for everything to go wrong. Six of these famous people learned it the hard way. Stay until the end to find out which celebrity went as far as to invent a fake assault for attention. Number six, Lindsay Lohan. Lindsay Lohan started her career when she was just a child. She appeared regularly on the television soap opera Another World at age 10. The Walt Disney Pictures film The Parent Trap was her breakthrough. The film's success led to many other significant appearances. Her role in the comedy Mean Girls gave her teen idol status and established her as a top Hollywood actress while she was still young. However, not all that glitters is gold. She started having frequent legal issues, court appearances, and stints in rehabilitation centers. She became a regular fixture in the tabloid press, and this led to her loss in several roles. She has appeared in court 20 times before four judges. She violated probation four times and was sent to jail for six months. Lindsay Lohan's substance abuse may have been a result of her turbulent childhood. I feel like a second parent because I helped raise my family. I was put between my father and mother a lot, she said. Lindsay Lohan is currently rebuilding her life and career, and we wish her the best of luck. Number five, Amanda Bynes. Amanda Bynes began her career as a child actress. She worked on the Nickelodeon sketch comedy series from 1996 to 2000, and the show brought her much recognition. Bynes made her film debut in the comedy Big Fat Liar, she then starred in several successful films, including the comedy What a Girl Wants. She also received praise for her role in the comedy She's the Man in 2006. Amanda's fame was rapidly increasing and she had a big fan base. It's in 2010 that things got complicated. Amanda announced an indefinite hiatus from acting as she struggled with various personal problems. She has struggled with substance abuse, and face legal issues in her highly publicized personal life. In 2012, the young woman was charged with driving under the influence. The charge was dropped two years later, and she was put on probation. One year later, she was charged with reckless endangerment and possession of narcotics. Her case was dismissed in 2014. Bynes was just not doing good mentally and got hospitalized under a 72-hour mental health evaluation hold. Her parents then filed for a conservatorship for their daughter. She was very active on social media and was constantly tweeting strange things. Amanda was finally diagnosed with bipolar disorder and manic depression. She later apologized for everything she said on Twitter during her years of substance abuse. Amanda's conservatorship was officially terminated in March 2022. She's actually a student at the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising, where she is pursuing a bachelor's degree. Hopefully, she will be able to create the life of her dreams away from Hollywood drama. Number four, Army Hammer. Armand Douglas Hammer began his acting career with guest appearances in several television series. He dropped out of school in 11th grade to pursue a career in acting. His parents were not thrilled by his career choice. However, they have since come around and finally accepted it. Hammer's breakthrough film role was in David Fincher's Social Network in 2010. Due to his role in the film, he won the Toronto Film Critics Association Award for Best Supporting Actor. He also performed in Clint Eastwood's 2011 film, J. Edgar, acting with Leonardo DiCaprio. The acting was praised. David Denby of The New Yorker described Hammer's performance as charming. The actor clearly had a bright future in the industry, but bad actions soon caught up with him. Hammer was facing very serious charges and was investigated for sexual assault. In the wake of these allegations, Hammer was dropped from many acting productions and development in an instant. An anonymous Instagram account released screenshots, which it claimed were text messages Hammer had sent to various women. 
The messages had reference to strange fantasies, which included violent and offensive actions. Many women who claimed to have had a relationship with Hammer came out and explained the weird behavior he subjected them to. In May 2021, Hammer checked into an Orlando rehab facility. He was reportedly working as a timeshare salesman in July 2022. We strongly doubt that we will ever see him on screen again. Number three, Jesse Smollett. Jesse Smollett, the guy who starred alongside his five real-life siblings in the short-lived ABC sitcom Our Own. Smollett started his acting career as a child model in New York City. In 2012, Smollett got a leading role in an LGBT-themed comedy drama, The Skinny. However, his most significant success was when he landed the role of Jamal Lyon in the series Empire in 2014. Smollett was cast as a gay musician trying to gain his father's approval. The role was hailed as groundbreaking for its positive depiction of a black gay man on television. His life takes a drastic turn in 2019 when the word broke that Jesse Smollett was a victim of a brutal hate crime. This led to outrage across the country. According to Smollett, two masked men poured a liquid believed to be bleach on his head. The attackers tied a rope around his neck and yelled racial and homophobic slurs. Nonetheless, it was later revealed that Smollett may not have been truthful about the events. The two men arrested by the police regarding the incident claimed they were paid by the actor to stage an attack. The police sued Smollett for the cost of the investigation. Smollett was sentenced to 150 days in county jail. He was ordered to pay $120,106 for the overtime spent by Chicago police officers investigating his fake reports. His case is currently being appealed and his career is, how can I say, over. Number two, Kathy Griffin. As a child, Kathy Griffin often visited her neighbors to tell them stories about her family. She termed those visits her first live shows, where she learned the power of juicy material. The comedian and actress began performing in the early 90s in the Los Angeles improvisational comedy troupe, The Groundlings. Griffin also earned several television and film credits. The self-proclaimed trash talker has drawn many controversies over the years. Thanks to her snarky commentary, she has been blacklisted by Hollywood, censored from award shows, and cut from TV programs. In 2007, Kathy made a derogatory and offensive comment about Jesus while on stage. She was giving a speech after accepting an award, and her address was cut. In 2012, Griffin stripped down to her bra and underwear, violating CNN's rule. The list could go on. But the worst happened when in 2017, she posed in a photo with the fake bloody head representing Donald Trump. The image itself ruined her career and it was game over for the comedian. Her artistic expression was interpreted as a threat of violence against Trump. Kathy is hoping to find her voice again. She underwent lung surgery to treat cancer. The 61-year-old shared an update on her medical journey while appearing on Jimmy Kimmel Live. Number one, Amber Heard. Amber dropped out of her Catholic high school to pursue an acting and modeling career in LA. Her earliest acting work included appearances in music videos and minor supporting roles. Heard's debut film was in a minor role in the sports drama Friday Night Lights in 2004. In 2008, Amber gained mainstream recognition with a supporting role in the comedy Pineapple Express. Heard has earned millions for her work in TV and films, such as Aquaman. Unfortunately, all her efforts are now water under the bridge, and her extremely toxic behaviors soon caught up with her. Amber Heard was sued by her ex-husband Johnny Depp for defamation. Her ex-husband also accused her of domestic abuse. The court of public opinion has shown support for Johnny Depp, 
while mocking Amber Heard, who was caught lying multiple times. This has negatively impacted her career, and it will probably be difficult for her to get a role with all this saga. This is not the first time Amber has had justice problems. In 2009, she was arrested for domestic violence against her former girlfriend, Tasia Van Rie. The actress managed to get out of it because Van Rie defended her against the allegations, claiming that her former flame was wrongfully accused of domestic violence. Is it true? Only they know. Being famous is not always easy. You must constantly watch what you say, control how you react in certain situations, and think of any possible repercussions of your actions. If you like this video, find more of our content right here.